morning everybody michelle is here michelle is here on it looks like september the 6th 2024 on a friday what friday good three let's see yeah just don't want to put too much light in the eyes so i hope everybody's doing fantastic magnificently and marvelous because i am <laughs> i'm up you know what i mean i jumped out of bed Wash my face, brush my teeth. Now I'm getting ready to have some coffee. How about that? Mmm, real good. So, I wanted to come through this morning, talk about something that I've um, I've asked this question quite a bit, a bit of times, as well as I've asked you to ask these questions. You know, to to get to the bottom of things. I don't like these glasses here because they, they seem to not fit my face the way I like them. So I plan on, but, and they're old glasses. So anyway, me and my glasses on, glasses off, glasses on, you know, that's just, just my personality. So I've asked this question quite a bit and, and it's, it's so important to use this type of uh, questioning of yourself and no one has to know so that you can feel so you can understand, okay, what is really going on? What is really going on? Because so many things are happening. And a lot of people do not realize that they're happening right before your eyes. You know, you can probably hear a lot of things going on as well. You know, because the thing about auditories, they hear things going on. And so sometimes they'll just go ahead and just recreate what they hear based on experiences and not necessarily realize that it may not be the same kind of experience. That's the same thing with visionaries, you know, uh, but in most cases, what we're doing is we see something and then we'll go back into our, you know, our storage of memory and say, okay, what's, what's familiar? You know, we look for familiar, you know, we look for something that's familiar about that situation. And then if we hadn't properly discerned something, we'll, we can do the same thing, kind of make a misjudgment of what we see. So we're all making misjudgments of what we see, what we hear, what we sense and receive, all those sensing that comes into play, what we smell, what we don't smell, Okay, and so that's where we are, is what we see versus what we don't see, what we hear versus what we do not hear, and then it goes on and on and on and on. So I talked about this, this word, or this, this series of words, you know, for a while, usually in some of my videos, is who benefits? Okay, who benefits is a very important question to ask if you want to really get to the bottom of what's really going on who benefits well what does it say about who you know uh in english it says to whom it is a benefit that's how it's how that's how it's phrased to whom it is a benefit supposedly that's a latin phrase um but that is a very or to who for who for whose good, okay, whom does it profit? Those are very, very important questions to ask when you're attempting to figure out what's going on. You know, what? It, who benefits? Whom benefits? Whatever. The beneficial factors or the beneficial results of who or who, what, when, where, why, what, you know, that ought to be added into that who, what, when, where, why, and blah, 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 blah. And, and ask, okay, so who benefits? Very important question. And that usually is not considered, in my opinion, when people are attempting to figure out, okay, what's going on? Well, ask, ask that. Okay, well, who benefits from all, from all of this? And that could usually narrow things down for you to say, okay, okay. And, you know, to get you thinking. Instead of being on autopilot, you're thinking, all right, wait a minute, wait a minute. And it brings me to certain factors of how people start acting 
when they get desperate. You know, when people are desperate, you know, you know, desperate thoughts create desperate behaviors and actions. You know, it always starts from the, the thoughts. So when you think about what's going on in your life, and what's going, you know, and why you, why certain things are not happening for you, you know, ask yourself, okay, well, who benefits? And I ought to, you know, if it's, if it's concerning me, it ought to benefit me, correct? If I'm, you know, if, if, if I'm investing in myself, attempting to, uh, you know, elevate myself, evolve myself, you know, how does that benefit me? You know, I ask those questions a lot unknowingly sometimes because I know I just go through the process you know sometimes you just have to go through the process of things and you know in other words get the action going and sometimes words don't capture a lot of things because everything is so commercialized so whatever's going on in the world today all you need to do is ask yourself constantly if you don't understand really what's going on well who benefits from all of this you know, contemplate on that, you know, and cultivate on it and see if you can, you know, kind of drill some things down into a nice bundle of information that you can handle properly and not, you know, be scattered all over the place. You know, I, I told you I'm talking to a lot of people about, you know, their business ventures and business ideas and stuff like that because, you know, I, I learn from others. I learn from people, you know, how they model you know, model certain things for me as to how to be um, a successful, appropriate, you know, business woman, you know, in, uh, in my attempts to help people, you know. Um, a lot of people have mission statements that they haven't looked at uh, probably since they, you know, kind of put the, put the information down, you know, because sometimes that's what we do. We, you know, we, we get ourselves, you know, into something and it's like, well, what's the, you know, what's the, what's the purpose, you know? And that's another thing I ask as well. What's the purpose of all of this? What is your intentions? Because those things are important. But it also uh, was really uh, a turning point in your life to get, to finally get to the bottom of things is to say, okay, who benefits from all of this? And if you're not part of that, ask yourself why. Why am I not benefiting from this? Okay? And why, you know, and then you realize that there's always usually a certain group of people that is always benefiting from things. Pay attention to that. Okay? No one has to know what you're doing and, and you know, how you're cultivating inside of you because this is an inside job, honey. Okay? This is about your innermost. So you can be sitting somewhere at a cafe, having breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you're doing. And if there's something troubling you, you know, and you just cannot understand, well, why is it this and why is it that? Say, well, wait a minute. Now, who benefits? And now, if you're not benefiting from it, that's that's a red flag to find out, okay, why? And then if you're not benefiting from it, why are you participating in it? Why are you involved in it you know what's your you know and always come back to you come back to I yourself you know why am I participating in these behaviors and actions when it doesn't benefit me because for something to benefit you that's ought to be a positive thing right to benefit you it brings me to a lot of things that happens uh sadly um when 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 people are struggling to make ends meet and they're struggling just to get a foot in the door and then there's offers from you say the government there's offers from here offers from there to quote unquote help and guess who always has their hands out uh, and, and we all know that we all know who always has their hands out and then what happens at the end it, you know, the people that genuinely need it cannot benefit from it, okay? Because you have a lot of people that are, you know, and it's usually, 
you know, say, for example, a hierarchical government of, of whatever. Let's say, for example, our particular governments. You know, they've done, they pass all these laws and regulations and status and ordinance and this and that and the other. And supposedly is to benefit the working class people. And thankfully, when, when we were growing up, um, my father, who was the provider in the family, he knew that he had to work. He knew he could not depend on the government for anything, even though there was a lot of mouths to feed, okay? There was a lot of mouths to feed. And so he knew he had to work, but he didn't understand all the other factors about balance in life. You know, we weren't, they weren't taught that. And we're still not taught that now. Okay, there's a lot of shadiness with that, and I'll come go, go into that at a later date. But he always felt like he, if if something had to be done, he knew he had to do it, and that's my same philosophy. As a matter of fact, like I was talking to someone who told me, Michelle, this needs to be done. Okay, if you tell me something needs to be done that is mandatory, I will make a way to make it get it done. But of course, it all depends, you know, in. And everything, you know, there's always factors to everything. But th when this particular person was telling me something, I knew that he wanted it done. Okay, I'm going to take care of it. You know, he gave me clear instructions. There, there were clear instructions as to what I want, what I needed to do. Cool. And then in the end, it would have benefit. It benefits me. You know, it benefits me, not him. Think about what I just said there. It benefits me, not him, not her, not they, okay? So all you have to do is pay attention to what happens when there's this so-called government assistance or government uh, laws and regulations and stuff like that to supposedly help the working class people that keep the economy going, okay? And... I would say 90% of the time, maybe 95% of the time, they do not benefit from any of these so-called programs that are out there. There's always that, that, that's, that handout of certain people, let's say 10%, okay, 5% uh, uh, of the public and then 5% of who else? The government. Okay, even though the government is passing all these bills and laws and regulations and ordinance, um, they are the first one in line with their hands out. But yet they put the citizens that need it the most through the mo uh, through red tape galore to where they it, it's not even worth bothering. So when we were growing up, we were we did not. Uh, we were not, I think we were offered some type of government assistance because, you know, I guess, you know, that's that, that that's that deception that was going on back then where they, they were, they were attempting to indoctrinate us and tell us that we were poor. Okay. I did not feel poor. My mom was able to feed us, clothe us, house us, you know, that was her responsibility. Okay. I don't remember be, uh, us ever being on the verge of homelessness. Okay. It just... That was just not in our, in our reality. And there was a lot of us, like I said. And my dad was the, the provider. And his, and his income wasn't that. He didn't have a high income, by the way. So th there was never a need for him to or her to, to, to rely on the government assistance doesn't mean that they didn't use, you know, government assistance, you know, because, yes, we had certain programs that were happening at our parks where they were giving away free food, you know, everybody talking about that government cheese, all right, you know. But we felt provided for, you know. Sometimes I was pouty and, and, and carrying on because I was a greedy, I, I love to eat, I love food, so I was constantly wanting to eat, 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 and so that had to be managed, of course. So, this is a good thing to start considering in, in your everyday lives. I know a lot of people have so much going on. 
And I know there's a lot on a lot of plates for all of us, especially the working class. You know, the people that genu genuinely want to help. We are always, we always miss out on the benefits of the, all of all of this, whatever the government is doing, whatever leadership is doing, sometimes whatever your jobs are doing, okay? Because those that are enacting that type of, like, you know, when they are attempting to, you know, uh, lend a helping hand, so to speak, on whatever, with, with passing this law, passing that law. Let me just give you a perfect example of something that happened recently. Okay, the PP, what do you call that? The PP, let me pull it up. I'm sure that rings a bell for a lot of people. What was it called? That it may, you know. No. Let's see, no. It's uh, after COVID. There was um, this, um, th these, what do you call them, benefit loans or what? I don't know what they were. I think they were just, hand they, I don't think they were even loans. I think they were just handed out to certain people, you know, was supposedly um, part of a, uh, you know, a, I, I guess it was a part of a stimulus package. And, um, you know, certain people... Yeah, I think it was PPP loans, right? Is that what they were? Yeah, the the, the Paycheck Protection Program. To me, it was probably the biggest fraud ever. I'm sorry. Okay? The biggest fraud ever. Okay? Because um, it did not go to working class at all. This was about saving, okay, small businesses, Right? But it, it turned out to be anything but that, and we all know that. All right, so we need to get be real, be be honest and reflective, and, and stop deceiving ourselves about how we're behaving and acting. And, and this is to people that ought to know better. Okay, that PPP loan fiasco is a perfect example of who benefits and who doesn't. So incorporate asking these questions in your life no one has to know so that you can heal okay because it is so important for you to heal so that you'll be clear and effective about what's going on when you are being worried about something that happened to you five years ago ten years ago if you keep putting that in the forefront of your mind you're missing out on opportunities okay you're missing out on opportunities okay and it's about the you know it's about being grounded and clear and effective and present and concentrated and aware woke okay not running around unconscious autopilot is about being there so that you can help yourself first and then you'll be able to open up other opportunities to help others so I'm gonna talk more about this of course over the course of time I, I like to put out the breadcrumbs of um, our realities because yes it's hard to consume all of this because I, 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 I'm being real honest if you don't properly uh, consume stuff it's going to come back and haunt you and it's going to mo most importantly come back and harm you and it's going to also sadly cause you to uh, you know want to harm yourself because of the realities of what you're, what you're, what's being revealed to you, and that has always been there. Okay, there's nothing really necessarily hidden about it. But when you are on autopilot and you are not focused and you're not woke and you're not grounded, you're just kind of. And the, and the people that are doing all this stuff, and I like the point because it's a hierarchical. They know what these programs are about. Like I said, ask who benefits. And why would why would people involve in that type of uh, regulations? You know, when they are attempting to you know put these these, these packages of programs together, I mean, it had to be voted on by them, and yet they turn around and they and they got their hands out too. Okay, so ask the question throughout the day when you have something that's concerning you and bothering you. You know what? Who benefits from this? Who benefits? All right, I'm gonna send peace and love. And trust me, I will be back.